A 16-year-old charged with murder moved out of the Oklahoma County Jail. A judge making the ruling following a scathing health department report barring the jail from housing juvenile inmates because of conditions inside the jail. News Force Jessica Bruno is live tonight. And Jess, this inmate is the first, but more juvenile inmates charged with murder one could be removed from the jail later this week, we understand. Yeah, Kevin, that's right. Officials with the jail tell me right now they're working on a plan to remove all of the juveniles who are still here from the jail, but that plan is still in the works. And an attorney for 16 year old Michael Williams tells me he didn't want to wait. I think the judge did what she swore an oath to do and, and did the right thing. 16 year old Michael Jean Williams removed from the Oklahoma County Jail on Wednesday afternoon on his way to the juvenile detention center after Judge Amy Palumbo granted a request made by his attorney earlier this week. Unfortunately, the Oklahoma County Jail has a long history of death, uh, serious injury, uh, assault, uh, malnutrition, incredibly unsanitary health conditions. It's a, it's a horrible place and it's absolutely no place to hold a child. This comes after a health inspection by the State Department of Health on July 13th found 35 repeat deficiencies inside the jail, including juvenile inmates only seeing staff during mealtime, a lack of medical and mental health screenings, and emergency reporting phone systems that don't work. OSDH ultimately barring the jail from housing juveniles. But for right now, those charged with first degree murder are still there, except for Williams after Wednesday's ruling. He's innocent unless proven guilty. Uh, he needs to be housed in a humane way, fit for a juvenile. Officials at the jail announcing on Tuesday that they are working on a plan to transfer the remaining 11 juveniles out of the jail, but nothing's been finalized at this point. They're talking about taking care of the juveniles. What about the adults in there? Pam Riggle contacted News 4 this week when she heard that news while watching one of our newscasts because she says her daughter has experienced horrific conditions inside the jail, from bed bugs to head lice, no blankets or sheets inside her cell, and yesterday morning. There was a cockroach in her water cup when they served it to her. That with an egg coming out of it. If she's wrong, she's wrong, but she doesn't, she's not an animal. Now, a representative from Juvenile Affairs testified during that hearing today. He says the Juvenile Detention Center can hold 75 inmates. They currently only have 30 there right now, so it is possible that those remaining 11 juveniles who are still here could end up in that facility, but we'll just have to wait and see. And as you said earlier, Kevin, uh, we should have that information later on this week. Reporting live from the Oklahoma County Jail, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4.